uh, their capitalization is uh, going straight forward, probably break through the roof. Is that the real productivities or is that a real wealth? From the Russia's example, like just get a thinking. A country, no matter what kind of evaluation do you have, when you have enough food, when you have enough energy, when you have enough power to defend your own national security, and uh, you're good. When a country is technically independent and uh, is very strong in the national defense, you don't need quite to be afraid of the foreign situation. What's the situation outside of your country? So if the foreign country has froze up uh, your foreign reserve and you can sell them oil with a higher price so you can earn the uh, foreign reserve back no matter what i think this is actually a brilliant idea if you've frozen my money i will find another way to take it back from your hands this is actually very interesting i wondered how many countries have this luxury to be that strong standing against the sanction but i do believe uh, any country before you make any decisions it should be out of the benefit of your own people's well-being right but not just to put a toe on your own people but right now you mentioned about donation sometimes a forceful donation and also the high tax high price putting on the normal consumers in europe in america and they have nothing to do with this crisis but now they have to pay the price so it really confuses me why the country making the decisions without thinking about their own people's benefit this is actually beyond our imagination. I'm glad two of your gentlemen just mentioned about uh, high oil price, right? And also energy prices all high and uh, created lots of inflation and probably in a future stagflation. But instead we see ruble is going sky high. I think many, I mean, probably 99% of economists and financial practitioners has made it wrong because They've been downpouring rubble onto the market and it cost like 100% depreciation in the very beginning of the war and sanction. Now they have to buy back rubble. 